Okay, now we are going to talk about the composition of our earth. Do you remember when we, when I told you the creation story, we talked about the earth being very, very hot in the beginning. Do you remember? It was so hot that everything was still in a liquid state. But then things began to settle. As they settled down, they did so according to their weights. The heaviest things went to the bottom. Do you remember that? We showed that in the test tubes. The heaviest liquid sank right to the bottom and the lightest liquid floated on top. This is what happened as the earth settled. The heaviest went to the center of the earth, to the very core, and the lighter things settled on top. I'll show you a chart. Now here is my chart. The part nearest the center was the heaviest part. It has been called barisphere. Barisphere. The word comes from the Greek word baros, which means heavy. On top of this barisphere, right on top, see that? So on top of the barisphere settled a lighter part. It's called the lithosphere. It's a part that we live in. We live on top of the lithosphere. The stone and rocks all around us. Lithos is a Greek word meaning stone. This is a lithosphere where we live in. Then, on top of the lithosphere, you see this darker blue line right on top. It's even thinner. Thinner than the little sphere. You see this dark, darker blue line? That is called the hydrosphere. All of the water on the surface of the earth is a hydrosphere. Hydrosphere comes from the Greek word hodo, which means water. Now, there's still a thinner layer after the hydrosphere. You see this part, which is even thinner. That is, that part is called the atmosphere. And it's still lighter, it's lighter than the hydrosphere, you imagine, that's why it's right on top of the hydrosphere, the atmosphere, can you see? The air that is all around us is the atmosphere. Atmos is a Greek word that means vapor. The little sphere, the part that we live on, is very thin compared to the rest of the earth. You can see the part we live in, this part, the little sphere, is the part we live in, the little sphere. You can see if you compare, compare that with the rest of the earth, you can see so the lithosphere is very, very thin. 
if you compare that with the rest of the earth. The diameter of the earth, that is a straight line across the center, a straight line across the center like this, the diameter of the earth, is about 8,000 miles. The little sphere, the path that we live on, is about 23 miles, about 23 miles thick. You can imagine how thick the earth is compared with the little sphere we live on. But then the hydrosphere, this thinner part, is even thinner if you compare that with the rest of the diameter of the earth. And that is the hydrosphere is just about two and a half miles thick. If we could make an earth with this diameter, so if you imagine that this ruler I have here is about 8,000 miles representing the diameter of our earth then the little sphere will just be about this thick about this thick just to sixteenths of an inch The hydrosphere, which is even thinner, will be almost practically invisible. The atmosphere will be even tinier, far, far tinier. It will just be about this thick. And the part of the atmosphere that we breathe is only a fourth of that this a fourth of the atmosphere, the entire atmosphere. <laughs>